hey guys welcome to the new video tutorial today so today we are going to demo on mockito framework so how mockito framework can be integrated with spring boot project that i'm going to demo <coughs> with some uh, very simple um, test cases i'm going to demo that so i mean let's understand like why we need mockito framework first so this is completely you know like uh, required when we are writing the unit test cases in our uh, java and jitwi project we need to cover uh, all the business logic that we are writing that we need to cover with you know like all the test cases it has to be written which will validate like whether what the output that logic should you know like <coughs> return right and in the meantime of the project somebody change it so then we need to you know like make sure that is integrated completely and not breaking till it is deployed into the production so these test cases comes uh, very useful for every project even all this client also demand if you are working for any client <coughs> basically on this banking sector i am working that it's really required because client demands it the every uh, business logic that we are writing so it has to be you know like covered with i mean all the business logic has to be well tested unit test has to be written on giving much more priority so what exactly this mockito framework and why does it this require okay so i have very simple use cases so there is one client and server relationship i have client is making a call to server okay so let's say server is one bin that i have you know like integrated i mean auto wired into my client and i'm from this test method i'm going to invoke this server uh, one one method right so what happened let's say <coughs> server is connecting to some other backend so my requirement is while writing the test cases for this method i need to you know like i mean mock the service method the server whatever i have written i need to mock that because i do not have the actual backend integration right so <clears throat> for those scenario like to mock those scenarios so we need you know like this mockito framework this is very useful which you know like using reflection it creates a dummy object and there you can you know like just set something like yeah <clears throat> i have just written one very simple use cases i'll just so i have to, to that client um, um, just method uh, so i'm going to write the jmd test cases for that so first of all i need to do is the class has to be annotated with mockito jmd runner okay so <clears throat> and this this exactly you know like instantiate our mockito framework and going below inject mocks right so what does it this inject mocks means and which class you need to annotate with inject mock whichever class you are going to test it that has to be annotated with inject mocks because i need to inject some dummy object inside it <clears throat> for that reason in my client class i have to you know like inject mock of server beans so for that reason i need to annotate this as inject mocks in a very simple way it just allows you to inject the mocks <clears throat> so here inside the client we have injected the mock of server okay is it clear now <clears throat> then what we need to do is there is some pattern needs to be follow when and then return right when this happens return something dummy value called hello <clears throat> i'm just giving instruction when the server is calling the test method then return hello this also if at all any argument needs to be passed so you can so write like mockito <clears throat> it has you know like supported either if the string has to be passed or any object you need to pass if at all any argument needs to be passed then i can send like this mock it in so for time being it's not required so i'm just removing it so this is what you know like it does 
So what it did, it is giving instruction whenever the server test method is calling, then return hello, a simple string. And I have put some assert not null and assert statements to check the null cases, to check what is the output is coming. If I will run it, and successfully this get executed. Okay. If at all I'll change this dummy value here, I'm just putting a check, then it will, it's going to fail. <coughs> so it failed, right? So this is the way you can write and check different conditions. And for at all, like if you have any uh, uh, negative test cases needs to be, um, <coughs> needs to be written then also you can write like this where you know like uh, the actual uh, exception whatever is coming that could be also tested okay like you can annotate with whatever the um, exception you are expecting and like this also you can here you need to in the when you are annotating the test the expected output is runtime exception then you can call some logic from here and it ha it has to return this runtime exception then it has to go success right so this way like there are different use cases you have you can you know like follow it and <clears throat> one very important thing is uh in our you know like um, while writing the test cases client demand like how much cover coverage you are having so there is one plugin is available in the Eclipse marketplace that is very useful that is called Eclema. If you install that Eclema, it will show this coverage as. So this coverage as is give you if you run this and it's going to you know like give you the how many lines of code in your code base is covered with this <coughs> test cases. So you can see it's telling this method is tested and this method is not tested okay so this plugin is also very useful when writing the test cases you can have it in your you know like id which will you know like give you a sense like how many codes you have written if you have missed something then it's going to also tell you its name is eclema so that you can you know like download and you can start using it okay so one more use case that i'm just going to show you guys very quickly one of this um, how how you can you know, like static method static method if you want to mock it through this mock uh, mock it or JUnit runner that could not be possible and if at all you need to you know like write <coughs> uh, a, you wanted to you know like mock the uh, uh, the static methods then you need to um, then you need to use this power mock it and power mock it you know like allows and that facilitated to you know like mock the static methods <clears throat> so i'll just give one one more example here guys i'll just delete this coverage part because it's yeah so here the, there is another method like uh, to mock that is a power mock runner and this helps when you are you know like trying to mock some static method here i have a class where few static methods are here available so i just want to you know like mock those with mock it generate runner i cannot do it that is not possible and it is out of the features of that and we need to use power mock it and here this is the way to write you need to annotate with run with power mock runner and prepare test that particular <coughs> class file that you need to instantiate saying prepare for test okay and you need to you know like mock static that also you need to do then you can you know like provide when you are classing uh, calling that particular instance then return hello and this is the way you can you know like mock this static method i'll just run it and i'll show you guys this is successful so i'm able to you know like <coughs> mock a static method so if at all you you fall into this scenario 
where the static methods are available. This is not achievable with the market as a unit runner. So you need to write power mock runner. Remember that. Okay. So I have, you know, like quickly have gone through this Mockito unit runner and power Mockito. If you guys have any more concern or any more queries, please come back to me and uh, you can, you know, like um, provide your comments and um, then I will get back to you guys as soon as possible whenever I get time. There is something called also spy annotation called spy and mock is something like you can you know, like mock an entire object and the spy is something like a part of the object if you want to mock and that you can you know like annotate with spy so <clears throat> if you want any more example to be presented please um, um, put your comments and subscribe to our channel and please like the videos and we'll keep on you know like growing and coming with few more lot of uh, important and which, which are very really useful in your you know like day to day work that we are going to come up with uh, new videos thank you guys thanks for watching this video thanks all